Hello, welcome to Flix Water YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about the fascinating topic of rainwater harvesting and its legal status in different US states. It's a topic that might surprise you. Before we start, can you please click the subscribe button below, we really need your support to develop this channel and publish more and more videos, just one click on the subscribe button, you are helping us and we really appreciate it. Again, we really need your help, please click on the subscribe button below. Thank you. In most states across the lower 48, you're in the clear when it comes to harvesting rainwater. It's essentially yours to use as you please once it lands on your property. In fact, many states actively encourage rainwater harvesting as a way to conserve water, manage stormwater, and ensure water availability, however, there are some exceptions to this rule. Let's take a closer look, Colorado, Colorado has some of the strictest regulations when it comes to rainwater harvesting. It's the only state where harvesting rainwater is entirely illegal, with the exception that each house is allowed to store up to 110 gallons of rainwater in rain barrels, Arkansas. In Arkansas, rainwater harvesting systems must meet plumbing codes and be designed by an engineer. Additionally, they should only be used for non-potable purposes, meaning you can't drink the collected rainwater, Idaho. In Idaho, you can capture rainwater from roof structures and the ground as long as the rain hasn't entered a natural waterway. This ensures that rainwater doesn't interfere with natural water systems. Illinois, Illinois permits rainwater harvesting, but the collected rainwater can only be used for potable purposes, which means it must meet drinking water quality standards. Nevada, Nevada allows rainwater harvesting but strictly for non-potable use. This means you can use it for activities like watering your garden but not for drinking or cooking. New Mexico. New Mexico requires some rainwater harvesting systems to obtain a permit. However, the state offers incentives for green building practices, including rainwater harvesting. These incentives are meant to encourage water conservation, North Carolina. North Carolina actively encourages rainwater harvesting as part of its water conservation efforts. This is a state that recognizes the benefits of collecting rainwater to reduce the strain on water supplies. Ohio, rainwater harvesting is legal in Ohio, but there are specific codes and regulations that must be followed to ensure safe and efficient water collection. Oregon, in Oregon, it's legal to harvest rainwater, but the source is limited to rooftop surfaces. This regulation ensures that the collected rainwater is free from contaminants that might be present on the ground. Tennessee, Tennessee is one of the states with no regulations or laws against rainwater harvesting. This means residents have the freedom to collect and use rainwater as they see fit. Texas, rainwater harvesting is highly encouraged in Texas. Some counties even offer tax incentives to promote this practice. Additionally, there is an exemption on sales tax for rainwater harvesting systems, making it more accessible for homeowners. Utah, in Utah, you can harvest up to 2,500 gallons of rainwater, but you need to obtain a permit to do so. This permit system helps the state keep track of rainwater usage. It's important to remember that these regulations may change over time, so always check with your local authorities to ensure you're in compliance with the most up-to-date rules and guidelines for rainwater harvesting in your area. So, there you have it, a quick overview of where it might be illegal or restricted to collect rainwater in the United States. Remember, it's always a good idea to check your local regulations and codes. Just to be on the safe side. Happy harvesting! Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for next topics or click to see the next videos on the right.